I, I experienced quite a bit of, of corporal punishment as a child. Now, there's like range of corporal punishment, but it was plenty for me, I'll just say that. And as a result, I, even though I'm an ally in every way and I want to interrupt it in, uh, corporal punishment when I see it, I cannot interrupt it effectively. Like, I get frozen, I feel completely uh, ineffective, essentially. And I had taken my younger nephew to the doctor's office and um, we were playing in the waiting room waiting to get called. And my, older, my younger sister, who's his mom, she was a teen mom when she had my, my first nephew, and all of us in the family said, you can't be a good parent unless you hit your kid, including me. And we put a lot of pressure on her, and she lived at home with my mom and dad when she had her first child. And so she did, even though she was against it, she felt the pressure, and she did use corporal punishment on him. By the time she had my, ne my younger nephew, she had moved out. She was really clear we'd all moved. Thank goodness we followed her lead eventually. And we all agreed that he would never experience our no corporal punishment. So we were in the, in the dentist's office and we're hanging out and across like two rows down from the doctor's in the waiting room, I see this woman start to hit her child, her little girl. And I was totally re-stimulated. Like I was so back in my childhood, I wanted to get up, I wanted to stop it and I couldn't stop it. And I felt frozen. I suddenly felt like I was cemented into the chair. I couldn't move, like time warped, and it felt like hours were passing, and I was like sucked back into my child. It was so visceral watching her, I would say, beat her little girl. And by the time I sort of came out of it, I, when I looked across the room again, there was the woman and the little girl, and my nephew was standing next to her. He was maybe like six or seven at the time. And I had this flash of like, oh my gosh, whatever's about to happen, I cannot stop it anymore. And he turned to the mom and said, probably with uh, the voice that probably only a six or seven year old could pull off, but it was very genuine. He looked at her and he said, how come you're hitting her? He had no context for that to be an okay thing to do to a young person. He'd never seen it. It was confusing to him. And he had a very relaxed way of not shaming the mom and also interrupting the oppression. I wish I had a picture, like I wish I'd taken a picture of the look on the little girl's face because she looked at him like someone noticed. And they went off and played and then I got up and I sat next to the mom and I listened to her because no one would choose to hit the birth that they, the life that they birthed and created, right? Unless there was horrible oppression on them. And I knew she didn't have enough support, obviously, if that's where it was coming from. And I listened to her. And it reminded me, like, we would do that all the time. Like, we would find relaxed, loving, connecting ways to say no to oppression whenever we saw it, if we hadn't been hurt. Now, he got plenty of adultism. He just didn't get that one. Um, but because that one didn't, he didn't get it, he had a way to show up. But I think as we continue to heal from these early hurts, we will fundamentally show up differently as allies and ending oppression.